turn signal and I'm frustrated. I don't know what to do. I don't want to take this to the auto electric place and have them charge me at the wazoo. Yeah, yeah. We're at the park. Oh, beautiful spring day. And we are feeding the ducks with little Sebastian. Look at him. Hey, what's up, buddy? Are you feeding the ducks? Yeah. Let me see that camera. It's sweet. It's a T4i. Go help Uncle Keith and TT clean up. Hi, sweetheart. Sebastian. Did you help clean up? Give me my camera. Where's the, the flash? See? This camera takes amazing video. Like, amazing. Got a 50 millimeter lens on it, but I can't lug this thing around all the time. See what I'm saying? Oh yeah, guys, the uh, audiobook is selling off the the Hizuk. Thank you so much. Awesome, but thank you for going out and doing it. He's saying Duck bye. Gardner eggs. Ooh, he's getting defensive. Stopping at EA Graphics to pick up some new work shirts and hats. This is where I get it. EA Graphics. My sister-in-law, who's actually my wife's sister, She's the uh, the art design manager here. And this is where I go to get all the work shirts and hats and all that stuff. EA Graphics. I was wondering who you were talking about. I'm gonna go bug Lauren real quick. I've got over 50 people asking where I get my shirts and hats made. Do you guys ship out of Michigan? Well, we ship from here. Yeah, to anywhere, right? Yeah, I'm sure there's different costs for shipping out of state, but yeah. But you're my sister. <laughs> I'm your sister, but I do not put me on YouTube. Okay. I'm telling you right now, do not put me on So, here's a salesperson that I go through. You can pause the video if you want. All the different options, what they have. anything print or embroidered. Eric Reno has these. I like these a lot because they're like that golf mesh type. But it's real professional. I might get that stuff for women too. I got some Kelfish shirts for the wife. This is like Christmas. So these are the new hats with the embroider. Oh wow. That's crispy. <laughs> oh wow. Got the jerseys. It's like playing basketball. It's super hot out. I like how the print is nice and high. Y'all have that email too. Oh cool. Okay, running up in Walgreens, getting some hair gel and electrolyte water. While listening to audiobooks, listening to Eckhart Tolle. Uh, I think of weird stuff like has anybody ever got this exact same combination of items as I am right now? Like, what are the odds? You ever think of stuff like that? Hey guys, I want to show you something real quick I learned from Eben Pagan in his Modern Marketing Mastery Program. Check this out. Next time you're in the stores and you see all this stuff on these magazines, when your business and marketing mind starts to pop off, start paying attention to the headlines of these magazines. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. Look, it grabs your attention. Why does it do that? Why does it stimulate the subconscious mind? What happens? What is that? Well, there's one over here that really caught my attention. Look at this. Okay, everybody, it, it doesn't matter. Just read it. When you read this stuff, you go, what, what? doesn't matter if it's true or not it grabs your attention how can you start applying that into your business into your headlines that's based on your niche so from now on check that stuff out see don't be, be the person consuming it be the person creating it so you can draw attention to your business and fight your way through the white noise great But he's flying. He's flying. Like that dog in the never ending story. Haha. <laughs> A trail. Damn. It's freezing.
freezing and windy. And it's like just leaving the dump. It's all dirty. So we're uh, hooking up the trailer. Unhook, cross and change. Let's do light check. No. What? You gotta line up the tab. Come on. Light check. Light check. Come on, he can do it. Come on. Plug it in. There you go. Look at that bracer to the floor. Just blew a, blew a brake line in the F-150 while driving in traffic. Very bad. Brakes to the floor with the trailer attached. So we had to go back and now we're swapping it out and using the Dakota. I can't get it in the shop right now. So it's gonna have to sit and that's why I have a crappy little backup truck with a tow hitch on it to keep working, keep production going. So the F-150 blew a brake line, fluid's going all over the place. We're going now, we're swapping it with the Dakota and I can't get the electrical to work because something's wrong with the electrical on the Dakota fiddle with that. So we're gonna have to throw everything in the back of the Dakota and do it old school style because uh, I got another trailer but that thing's got so many locks on it, it's just faster to finish the day old school style. That's what we're doing. What's up, we're banging on a landscape job on this apartment complex right now. I'll show you how to pull out a thistle with your bare hand. You gotta go with the grain, watch this. See the thistle growing out of that shrub? That's a thistle. Spiky, picky, you need leather gloves. We don't track it all the way down there, just like in a juniper shrub, this one's a U shrub. You go underneath the shrub like this, you find the base of it, Pull sideways, you slide it out. See that? Out of the root, gone. Zip. Pull out this with your bare hands, baby. Oh, that's a big one. This one might like, injure me. Oh. If you touch it anyway, but except with the grain, oh shit. It's a master, it's a master. I'm just kidding. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to pull weeds. When you're doing garden maintenance, pulling weeds, I'll show you how to do it really, really fast. It's detaching from Oh my god, there's all these weeds. You're just doing it. I'll show you what. This hole, like I showed you, bare hands one. I kicked out this art and get the garden edge bed. You kick it out. And any of this, you shake it off. Oh, these are a lot more than I thought. But uh, how many years would you say this fabric is good for? Depends on what kind you get. I know it's really windy, but the cheap stuff, it doesn't even last at all. Weeds pop right through it. Good stuff, years. We're doing uh, guard maintenance on this apartment complex right now. Which is like pulling out all the weeds and ripping out all the grass out of the garden beds and laying down fresh mulch. It's just kind of a grueling type of job. and. We're only doing it to one unit on one building out of an entire complex, right? You see this? And my guy was kind of like, uh, damn, that's a lot of weeds. I could see it in his face when he was ripping out the sod and thistle by hand. And I said, uh, it really made me remind, reminded me of when I was a foreman for this landscape company. I was the horticulture foreman for the commercial lots which means we did five-star properties and everything, great, but my job also was to literally weed out entire apartment complexes, like ripping out sod and weeds and pickers by hand, uh, 10 hours a day, days on end, uh, weeks on end, in the pouring rain with my hands bleeding. Uh, I, every day I was like, this is bullshit, dude. I wanted to quit so bad, they would make us go out in the pouring rain and just unbelievable. Just tens of thousands of pounds of sopping wet weeds, digging them out of a, like abandoned apartment. They weren't abandoned, but 
they called us in to do that stuff to beautify the beds and prep them before mulching and it, it was insanity digging around shrubs and just the worst work that you wouldn't wish on a dog and I got so good at it because I broke through the levels of pain and suffering <laughs> that you finally just don't care anymore and then you just do it it's, it's really weird how the mind and how resistance works like that it's fascinating so then you get conditioned and then when you see something that you know used to like freak you out and now it's like that's nothing you do that in like 20 seconds so really it's in your mind and this marine sergeant landscaper taught me one time phenomenal guy he said when you see a garden bed and there's weeds everywhere don't be freaked out because it doesn't matter if the weeds are this big or five feet tall there's still the same amount of weeds it's all in your mind another thing waiting right now for all these kids to cross that crossing guard you gotta wait till that crossing guard f totally crosses and puts his sign down because if you even even pull out see how that guy just pulled out before the crossing guard was done the cops will hammer you that's uh, th a three-point misdemeanor At the last game, so I... getting some mulch getting some mulch at the landscape and supply where you get mulch, this is where you get landscape supplies, anything you need, brick pavers. Check it out in your city. Type in landscape supply for your new guys. And uh and if you're a contractor, you get to contract a discount. See? What's happening here? How's it going? I'm so confused. I know you're confused. <laughs> Alright. This is prime landscape supply. Shout out. Are we in Sterling Heights? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These guys are awesome. Total fan of these guys. Been a customer for five years now. He's checking out the landscape and play trap on YouTube. Yup. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you subscribe? Yeah. I subscribed as a matter of fact. So this whole company is now subscribed to the landscaping and play trap. There you go. Perfect. Let's go get the mulch, baby. We're racing to get the mulch. Give me that mulch. Mulch, mulch, lots of mulch. Hey, motherfucker, give me that moat. Watch this go in the back of the Dakota. I'm gonna put it in the back of this Dakota, because the F-150 broken down. Saddle down. Damn! This thing's a beast. Look how we build this. Like this, then we secure it to the bed. And it's a big piece of doo-doo. No, it's not. It's fine. God. Look at this. Unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Unbelievable. It's incredible. That should work. Welcome, I'll do it for you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got small business and fitness. Just going nuts, mulching this up. Throw it all down, then afterwards tighten everything up. Gotta move quick. So it's $85 per yard installed, but $100 if they just want one yard. See what I'm saying? But I got a, hundred, a yard and a half from the landscape supply. It was a little bit more. Trim all the shrubs, 55 bucks. It says 155 plus pre-emergent granules, 36 bucks. Got both trucks are broken down. So got a brake line blown on one, it's useless. And then I got my other truck trying to hook up the trailer to it and all the electrical is screwed on it. So I got Forrest in the truck right now doing light tests while I got the light meter. I've checked all the fuses, everything inside and out, doing light tests. Uh, I have a background in auto electric. I know what I'm doing. And the phone is ringing. Private, damn it. I'm so frustrated right now. People calling me off the hook. I've got a customer waiting right now, two hours late, the customer's waiting, 
Uh, another guy is waiting. A guy is on the clock, and we're sitting here. I'm sitting here trying to fix electrical uh, for two days straight now. Money up the wazoo going down the drain. I'm losing. I can't even explain it. Probably, probably fifteen hundred bucks right now over two days, and no money coming in in four to five days. It's just going out like a black hole right now. So, <sighs> hit the brake lights. I'll hold them down. All right, no brake lights, but turn on the headlights or running lights. Okay, that works. Alright, uh, right turn signal. Alright, turn off the headlights and turn on the right turn signal. Sir. There you go. Left turn signal. And I'm frustrated. I don't know what to do. I don't want to take this to the auto electric place and have them charge me at the wazoo to do something that's a tiny little fix. Yeah, I'll just sit here and smile and lose clients and let money go down the fucking wazoo. I don't care. Oh my god. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it is great. So I'm troubleshooting the light, test light, here we hold this, point it right in here when I'm doing, no, straight up and down, there you go, closer. So I'm taking the fuse from the brake light fuse and the parking lamp fuse, so I'm back testing both of them to see if I get a, uh, a constant when he holds it down. Side of the fuse panel. All these are good. They're good. I All right, so we got two trucks broken down, a guy sitting on the clock, and another guy waiting, a client waiting that I just had to call and reschedule, scrambling to get these trucks fixed, money's going down the drain, and and a customer just called me saying, where are you at? You're supposed to be on my quote. You're supposed to be here for my estimate uh, a half an hour ago. You didn't show up. I'm like, oh my God, I'm scrambling with trucks. And I have another quote I'm supposed to be at right now. So I got to find a way to drop off both these trucks to auto care centers, spend seven, 800 bucks to get them fixed because that truck, my other truck needs a wheel bearing replacement too. And I've lost over going about $2,000 in the hole within five days here. Uh, I, it's like playing Tetris on level 50. So I'm scrambling to get all this done. And I don't know how I'm going to get all done, but I'm going to get all done as fast as possible because that's what, uh, that's what we do. So welcome to small business. So here we are. We got the flashers on. He's above me, in front of me in the Dakota with the flashers on. Going about 20 miles per hour. No brakes to the floor. Look at this. No brakes. Nothing happening. <laughs> Oh man, so I'm putting it down in the first gear when we gotta stop and I'm hitting the e-brake to baby it to the auto mechanic. Plus I got a blown wheel bearing on the other side. Plus we gotta go drop that off at the auto electric. So I'm gonna be down for three days and it's gonna cost me uh, three days, I don't know, a few G's, a couple thousand bucks. So not only am I spending money to fix this stuff, I'm losing money and rescheduling clients and possibly losing the clients, uh, losing the jobs as well. So uh, the smallest thing could put you in the whole thousands of dollars at the snap of the finger. Uh, I'm done being anxious about it. It just is what it is. It's like when shit hits the fan, it all happens at once. And I remember my old landscape bosses, especially like, I talk about Mike Clancy. He'd be swearing in the garage and throwing stuff around, man, and screaming. I'm like, whoa, this guy is crazy. No, now I'm starting to see why. Now I'm starting to see why. When you're just trying your best, you're trying your hardest, and it's nothing's working. You could try how you could try harder. You could pull the work harder lever and try even harder. It's not gonna work. You can work 100 hours. It just happens. Sometimes everything's going good, and sometimes everything's going bad. So I've had a winning streak before, where it's like you can't miss, everything's working perfect. I've been there. This is not a winning streak. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I better pay attention. 
So I couldn't videotape it, but uh, William, my buddy, tree guy, we just somehow managed to drive the Dakota out with no brake lights <laughs> and bang out a tree job real fast in like an hour and a half. The auto center just called me and they said that the F-150 needs like 800 in brake work. The back brakes are all locked up and seized and needs all this stuff. The front brakes are smoked, the calipers, the pistons, the pads. Uh, and, the, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. How much just to fix the brake line to get me on back on the road because I have a family mechanic who can do all that stuff for me. They go, oh, 190 bucks. I said, can you do 160 cash? <laughs> and they go, yeah, we'll do 160 cash. Boom, just to fix that brake line. So, let's see, I got Top Notch. Brian from Top Notch texts me right now. <laughs> I can't tell you what Brian just said. I'm uh, talking to you.